In this video, I'm going to show you how you can filter an email list by two fields before you send an email. And so here we have the sales for one company for one month. And the, the sales are made up of a bunch of different things, uh, different things of, and has several different salespeople on there. And so I'm assuming that these, um, these salespeople are uh, responsible for their own promotion and that such. And so let's go to email criteria. And so I've entered in good deal for returning customers. And now this is going to be the subject. You can change it to whatever you want. Um, and this is what's going to appear in the subject line of your email. Now you can select your salesperson. Now how I've done this is this is um, data on the data tab and it's um, the LinkedIn, I'm sorry, the data validation and then it is um, linked and on sheet um, sheet one I have I have the and it's called sales and so I've named this range on sheet um, on, on sheet for for sales for the salespeople so I do that and it's going to display those and so when I do that um, on the on the data validation and list, it's going to bring up every every person that's in the sales list. And that's exactly how I did it for the type of things. Um, once more, I have it on a, a named a, a named range in on sheet one. And so let's say that we're looking for um, Larry is the salesman and I'm looking for parts. Now he wants to send out an email to all the people that bought parts from him last month. And so then what we're going to do is we've entered in a good deal for recurring customers. Now I'm asked this a lot. Um, I'm how, how I'm using the button. So I have this button here and what I've done is I've gone to my developer tab and we have a toolbox here and from there you select on the form controls at the top here. You select the button and draw, draw a button on here. And then it, after you draw the button, it asks you what macro it's linking to. And so let's right click this and we're assigning the macro. And my macro is called search and copy. And so I'm going to um, say OK. And so that's assigned to that button. Now, if we, if we press this button, we will generate all the emails to the sales per, from the sales of parts that Larry did last month. And so let's press this get data button. And so here you have um, a pile of emails coming up and basically um, there's, there's an email and then you have the, the, the contacts name and then it's just a little line saying, please note you get 15% off on purchases. So um, let me show you how I did this. So from my list of sales for the month, I've created what's called an e-list and it's gone through and found all the ones that um, have Larry as the salesperson. And then it, for the section, it's found parts. And now it's, it's copied all the ones that meet those two criteria on the e-list sheet here. And then I have, um, I have it go through in the second little script, I have it go through and with all these contact names, and uh, on these email addresses, I send an email to each of these people and, and give them my message for the month. So let me show you the code. So this is my first little piece of script and um, I'm declaring report sheet as a worksheet. S type is, I have to call it S type instead of just type because type is a restricted word. E row is the end row and R for the row. So I set report sheet equals sheet two, and you can see on the on the list here. So report sheet is my e list that I have named here. Sales is the sheet four, and you can see here that email criteria. And my email criteria, the sales is uh, sheet sheet four range C two, and the S type is sheet four C five. Now. Um, now on my customer list, my I have a heading row, so I start with a second row, and then I do a do while to go through the whole list, and I do a double 
Um, I go sheet three activate and you can see sheet three is a customer list. And so sheet, I do a double if we're looking first for the salesperson and then we're looking for the S type. And if it found, finds both of those criteria, then it's going um, from the customer list and it's copying uh, row 10 and uh, row 10 columns, row and column 10 and row and column 11, which is the customer name and his email address. And then it's putting it on report sheet. And then it's going to the last row on report sheet. Then it is uh, pasting or it's finding the last row and then it's pasting the cells in there and then it's going to the next row. So after it's done all that, and then we've got our nice little list on our, our, um, our e-list that we have created. Then it does just a simple sending the email. So um, the subject is what we have on uh, sheet four, which is our email criteria in the F1 cell. And then it does basically, it just goes through, um, you set up your Outlook app and your Outlook mail and your e-address equals uh, sheet two cells R2 and the name equals sheet, sheet two R1 and Outlook mail and then you're going to and then the little body says hello and then you're personalizing it so you're saying hello and then you put an ampersand in the space and another ampersand and you put name there so you can address it to the person and then you're doing uh, carriage return and then please note the returning parts customers will receive 15 percent of off the purchases in best regards so then uh then you clear your e address and then you go to the next one and get the next email address and then you go and when it's all done that loop, then you clear out your Outlook app and you clear out your Outlook mail item. So I will, of course, include a code in the description of my video. Please note, I have used the does not equal to symbol here. I'm not able to put that in in the description of my videos. So that will be re replaced by the words does not equal to. Please subscribe.